<laughs> I take it the sedative wore off. <clears throat> Honestly, I didn't think that would happen so quickly. Now, now, there's no need to struggle nor panic. I am not here to cause too much damage to your physical form, but more to in enlighten you on my stance of where I am. I know this might seem to you a very arbitrary imposition, but I can assure you, everything will come in due time, and you'll fully understand why you're here. <laughs> now, panicking isn't going to get you anywhere. Not when... I'm the one holding the knife. So you need to be a really good boy for me. And I might consider letting you go. Mm. Do you understand? Good. Frankly, I'm not up to par this evening. I feel I might be falling ill, but that is a part of who I am. Now, you may be asking yourself why on earth I have brought you of all people here. Hey, didn't I tell you not to move? Shouldn't you be listening to me? <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be the intelligent one. I suppose that you really are not. You're just simply a helpless human who wants to constantly jump to their first instinct of running away. When really this could be your home. You could love it here. Love me here. <laughs> I know this might be really hard for you to understand, but you are mine. And due to some activity that I've seen occur recently, I had to make sure that you understood that. For a very long time, I tried to convince myself that, no, you must leave your senpai. You mustn't hurt him. You must let him live. <laughs> in peace and solitude. To me personally, I find that to be very heartbreaking. I had done everything you asked. I was your perfect girl. And even then, you still didn't pick me. I knew you were into art. So I had done the same thing along with all your other hobbies. But art was something I actually did take a liking into. One of my own, you could say. <laughs> See, I started off a little bit small. A little bit different, you know? I done the basic shit to gather my thoughts and become what I needed to become. I done everything correct. I followed the orders I was given. And yet they still never pleased you. <sighs> I want to paint with you this evening. I'm not sure what yet at this moment in time, but I know that I want to paint something for you. This is the book I think I will choose to do. Do you like my art? How about you take a look at these ones for me? I base them on the places that I stalked you to. <laughs> Honestly though, this one in particular allowed me to see who you truly were, what it was you were afraid of, and a part of myself that I never knew I could finally draw. For a very long time, I felt alone, isolated and afraid. I have been trapped in a void where 
I can't seem to get out the escape door. Everyone around me is dull and static. And over time, I thought that I could never find someone. But then I found you, and that suddenly changed. The day that we were accompanied by a fall, is the way that I will put it. When I seen you and you <laughs> knocked me over, I, I knew it was you. Looking into your dull blue eyes, I knew I couldn't give up. People like me are very frowned upon in the area that we are. By that I mean the principal knows what we are. Yet, he still doesn't care. He wouldn't want to ruin the school's prestige reputation. <laughs> and yet, he lets me take my victims as I please. But then again, I don't leave any evidence behind. I'm very good at what I do, very thorough. This is probably one of my most favorited pieces of artwork that I've ever created. And it's weird because it's not even good. But it shows you that the ugly things in life can somehow turn out to be so... <laughs> beautiful. I really did try. And don't worry, I'll keep circling back around to the things that you need to know. I mean, where do I begin? I really did try, you know that, right? Every girl that even looked in your direction, I... I wanted to rip apart. And I'd done so. One by one. But then, you know, the worst came to worst and the police started to understand what was going on. I could only take one more victim. And for some reason, I... It was a lot harder to get to the one that just wanted you the most. She was a tricky one. She is dead, though. <laughs> I made sure of that before I dumped her in the sewer system. The man hall outside, outside of the school, right? You know of it, right? Yes. <laughs> she wasn't getting out of that. This was a knife, actually. It's the only thing I managed to pull out of the school. Where did I find it? You're probably wondering how I got it out, right? I mean, they did check all the students, but I actually threw it down the manhole as well. It turns out I figured out where it leaped to. Surprisingly, not the body, but the knife washed out. And I took it. I kept it. See, I am infatuated by you. I love you and I want you. But it's going to be a little bit more complicated than manipulation or trying to convince you to love me back or being overprotective or overbearing or trying to figure out why my brain won't comprehend what it is that I have to do. I really don't want to hurt you, but in a way you're my muse. You're my everything. I look at you and I want to die of love and care and cherishment. I look at you and I, I can't bear it anymore. You are mine. And most of the time when I'm in your company, I forget what I want to say. For a long time, I, I couldn't even speak to you. But I knew that this was my last chance. I used to watch you all the time. Going from classes to home. 
And by the way, me and you are the same. Hmm. I know you're pretty sadistic yourself. <laughs> I found that a bit of a surprise, but following you home every night was my way of comfort. One night, I decided just to watch. You act like you're this amazing person for people to love you. Because inside you feel so alone, just like me. Your family are very abusive as well. I saw everything. <clears throat> Every single time I see them hurt you, I want to plunge a knife for their necks. Luckily for me, I already took two of them out of the game. Well, <laughs> it wasn't as hard as you would have thought, would it? It wasn't. A simple car, well, car crash was all I had to do. And that one. He never found out it was me. Well, because he never connected the dots. Plus, they didn't really have any information on me and I had no links to your family whatsoever. I only had links to you and... Sadly, the police are idiots and don't look into the children. Mm. The police did come many times and they almost caught me, but they didn't. They didn't know what they were doing. And that was probably the best part. I got away with many murders. It is fun killing, though. I feel in a way I'll miss it. Killing to protect you. Showing you my love. As if in a way you're a damsel in distress. <laughs> the look on your face right now is priceless. I don't think I'll ever get over it. There was no other way. In a way, you probably think that there was. That I could have spoke to you, but in a way, I really couldn't. She's constantly around you. And her friend was constantly around her. And boy, did she whine. I love people that put up a fight, though. I find it to be very... Very enjoyable. Tell me, senpai, are you going to put up a fight? <laughs> I truly hope not. If you did, I think I'd have to... Never mind. There's no need to worry now. I'm not going to do anything drastic. But I'm gonna ask that you give me your arm. Hmm? So I can cut it, of course. <laughs> well, if you haven't already noticed, we will be painting this evening. Don't worry, don't worry. I, I already collected my blood. You wanna be as one, right? You need to be as one. For everything to be intertwined so does our dna sure most people would go for sex but i want to be a little bit more romantic <laughs> trust me if i already went for this pain you'll have to go for it too it's only a few cuts and then you'll bleed perfectly into this glass you'll be fine here drink some water Trust me, that sedative really did do a number on you. That's a good boy. I'll set this off to the side. If you follow my orders, I promise I will not hurt you after this. I promise. I don't want to hurt you, I want to love you. There is a very big difference. 
please. It is only a few cuts on your arm. It isn't gonna kill you. It isn't gonna get infected. I will take care of it. Give me your arm. Please. <sighs> My love, darling, there is no need to be afraid. I'd never let anything bad happen to you. I know I failed you in some ways. I had to let them hurt you and I... It kills me. Wishing I could slit the throats of every single person who even laid eyes on you. But it's not as easy as you think. It's very complicated. And it's not beautiful in some ways. Girls are not easy to kill. And I couldn't exactly kill the whole school of girls. Just so I could be the only one you had eyes for. I needed you to know. That I love you. And that you need to be mine. Give me your arm. I will not ask again. Good boy. Oh, oh, I catch it in the glass now. Might have been a little bit deep. <laughs> there we go. Just enough. Well, I did tell you we didn't want too much. Give me your arm. I'll bandage it up. There. You're gonna be fine. Nothing bad is gonna happen to you. <sighs> I'm already getting so flustered. I never realized you could be so beautiful. It's weird even when you're crying, you're still beautiful. <laughs> Your blood does taste pretty good, actually. It tastes a little bit different from the rest. Sorry about that. I shall remove the knife. I don't think I'll need it unless you move again. Got a mix? Where is it? Up here. I was thinking about doing oil pastels, but... Sadly, they get a little bit too in the way. Well, these are my paintbrushes, silly. <laughs> Some of my favorite, actually. Let me remove some of this itemry. It's in my way. Let me push this up. It's weird, honestly. The fact that you haven't tried to run yet. I mean, I didn't exactly chain you down. I wanted you to have your freedom, but... I didn't think you'd be so willing. I know in a way your head is telling you that you must leave me. Why? Because I'm a murderer. I know. It is 
was probably very, very frustrating for you. Because in a way, you probably love me back. But you're too afraid to admit it. And that's perfectly fine. I, I don't... I don't have a problem with that. It's okay to be afraid, but I promise you, even if you did decide to love me back, no one has to know. And if the police get involved, I make sure that you never get taken away. Nothing bad will ever happen to you. There was a time I almost got caught and ex expelled. It was pretty funny, honestly. I feel like I might need some sellotape, though. Give me a moment. Well, I do kind of need it. Well, that is not good. I just broke my femur. Uh, I just have to get a new one. Oh, well. Ah, here it is. Arts and crafts, what can I say? <laughs> I know in a way this does not seem fair to you. I get that, I truly do. But you need to understand that I went two years watching you with these other girls and I couldn't stand it. My heart broke every single time I'd see you holding them, kissing them, going out on dates with them, loving them and not me. You realize how much that breaks someone, right? I just sometimes wish you had fully waited until you met me. But then again, I don't blame you. You didn't know who I was. But I wish I could have been your everything. But it's okay now because, well, every single girl that ever touched you is now dead. I made sure of that. And the one that almost did will be dead soon enough. <laughs> we hold the book together like this. Your book is there, don't worry. You'll have it in a minute. I do a sellotaped border. Well, it really helps me out in doing what I'm doing. don't know how to feel right now and honestly I can't tell you how to feel there's only one thing I can say to you that I love you I truly do but this isn't gonna be easy no matter whatever happens here you're not leaving even if you die making sure the measurements are right. What is it that you'd like to paint? Mm -hmm. Well, it's really your choice. I'm not going to stop you from doing what you want to do. You're your own person, and I truly believe that. Maybe some anime? <laughs> but of course. What else would we paint with? I only want to paint with your blood, dear. Come on. Don't you want to play with me? Good boy. You have to. You're mine now. Well, for... This evening, anyways. Now I'll give you a choice. Do we start with pencil? Or do we start with paint? 
Well, mistakes can be made and erased with pencil, with paint. You just build on top of them. You overlap them until they want to drag themselves into a different dimension. <sighs> what is it that I can really say to you? There isn't much, just that you must stay here with me. You must love me. But I can't let you go anymore. Now that you're here, I have come so far. I'm gonna try. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're a good person. Well, I know some of your favorite foods, but I made you some blueberry muffins in case you're hungry. Well, I put a lot of hard work and effort into them. I mean, you are the first person I've ever kidnapped, so... Well, first person I loved that I ever kidnapped. <laughs> I did make a few, um, slaves. Well, people's sanity is very good to get a hold of when they're dumb enough to fall for it. But anyway, those are there if you're hungry. Don't worry, I'll make you some other food later on. Some traditional proper food. Hmm. Where did the pencil go? <sighs> if I can't find it, we're going to have to use pen. Oh, found it. You can start whenever you want to. Allow me to know what your muse is for this evening, my love. Look, I just want you to be honest with me. I know that this is very hard for you. I know that you probably don't love me. And I mean, how could you? Sure, I might not be completely sane, as some people put it, but I am very, well, capable of understanding. You're intelligent, you know how brains work, right? I mean, you've done psychology for a little while. I know for a fact that you already know. It's weird, you know. Loving someone so much that you do anything for them. And then them never loving you back. I've had to deal with that my whole life. Wishing someone would just speak to me. Yet, I never got them. I don't really know fully what I'm doing. I know one thing, though. It's gonna be pretty great. Mm -hmm. Well, not everything in life starts off perfect. You've got to build. That's how you work. Do you need any help? Mistakes don't matter. You do not need a rubber. You'll be fine. Or an eraser. It's really your choice what you want to call it. <laughs> well, I use... Why? Okay, I'll tell you. Erasers are dumb when you're going to paint over it. Mistakes get made, and you don't have to erase them. 
Covering over things is human nature. We like to cover over things that we can't understand. That's fine. That's somewhat normal. And I completely understand. I would probably feel the same way. I would probably do the same thing. Honestly, I'm not a completely sure what I'm drawing right now. The walls of time, I suppose we could call it. <laughs> For years, I sat in a four room. Um, sorry, I got a little bit tongue tied there. Spacing out a little. For years, I sat in a four bedroom room. Four walled bedroom room. Ah, uh, it's complicated sentence, isn't it? <laughs> but anyway, the way I put it is the four room with the white walls. And even that sounds dumb as well. I don't really know. It was just a bedroom with four white walls and I sat there in solitude for months and I had to be stuck there for who knows how long over and over and over again. Or I would get trapped down in the cellar. Or I would be whipped and punished for breathing. Which is strange because I never thought that it would be that bad. You're born never knowing much. That's why when people are being abused, they never really know it. And most of the time they're reluctant to believe it or they don't know they're being abused and uh, that's a weird thing to say right because you probably think that how do you not know well because that's all they've ever known the abuse you can't know something is wrong if you've never had the good I'm not a bad thing. I wouldn't really call myself human anymore. I mean, you're probably my only reason for living right now. But then again, I'm trying my hardest. It's not gonna be easy, it's not gonna be dull. It's just gonna be me. And all I have to offer is just everything that I possibly can. I'm giving you a life, a start. You know you've already finished all your exams and if you wanna go back and finish anything else, that is fine with me. I will let you have your life. Just allow me to be your partner. I wanna be able to support you and be there for you. Look, I have everything I could possibly need. I could get us anything that you ever wanted. All you have to do is ask. I'm ready to paint. It's weird, right? Well, what I'm painting is a grid wall room. Just a room with black lines is the best way to put it. Is there any specific colors that you need? <laughs> mm -hmm. I need to sort these out later. They're a little bit all over the place. Ugh, black. 
Mars Black. Different. To say the least. And then I got the red, which is perfect crimson. I'm surprised your blood hasn't dried up yet, honestly. Where did my paper go? <laughs> there it is. I do ask that you use some paper. I really don't want, you know, paint everywhere. It's just a courtesy. I ask that you follow the rules and you'll be perfectly fine here. Do you need a book? Okay. Well, let me know when you're ready. I'll be perfectly fine on giving you whatever you need. Just take your time. Think. Nothing has to be rushed here. We have all the time in the world. So, I would say in normal aspect, you tell me about yourself, but the thing is, is I already know everything about you. I suppose you should ask about me. <laughs> Unless there's something you think that I don't know. Please be my guest. I would not mind answering anything. You believe me? I'm a little bit surprised. I didn't think you would. Remember, black is overpowering. You don't need much of it. <laughs> of course. <clears throat> well, what do you want to know? My name? No, my real name, you mean. Mm. That's perfectly fine, I can answer that. My name is Yuki. I won't give you a last. Personal reasons. But frankly, I don't know it. But that's what my name is, my real one. So, anything else? <laughs> I'm surprised it took you this long to answer. Why you? For many things in life, there isn't a perfect reason. Why did I pick you? Out of all the people in that school, you're more or less the last person to stand out. So why on earth would I waste my time with you? Simple. Your charm. Your eyes. Your smile. The way you talk. The way you conduct yourself in this society. You conform in a very specific way. And I love it. Who you are as a person is very beautiful to me. I know you don't see your worth, and I know you don't see how amazing you are, but then again, no one ever does. No one ever really sees who they are until it's too late. And I know that pain all too well. painting some walls right now. What about you? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Is your arm still in pain? Oh, sorry about that. My jumper's a little bit baggy. 
I didn't mean to knock that over. Um, Make sure to thoroughly coat your brush though. Come on, you take art classes as well, don't you not? <laughs> May I ask why? Was it your mother who asked you to? Yeah, I see. Interesting. It is already getting pretty late, you know. <laughs> yes, you are. You're staying here for the night. Well, first off, I'm not gonna let you go that quickly. I don't trust you yet. Don't try and use those games with me. <laughs> it won't work. Trust me, I'm not a, an idiot. I know how humans work. Get on my good side and ask me. I can't do that no matter how much I love you. The reasoning is you are mine. And I don't share with other bitches. Is the term people are using these days, right? I don't know. I'm not trying to be cruel. But I can't let you go. You need to stay here with me, whether you like it or not. I'm not gonna let you go that easy, trust me. Have I ever been in love before, before you? No, we have not. Well, that's just the way it is. You're doing very well. You should continue doing art. Well, that's if you like it. I don't want you to do something you hate. One thing I do know, actually, is... Well, don't know. What is your favorite food? Well, I never see you eat, surprisingly. You always eat that hideous grilled lentils. And I'm pretty sure you got sick from it one time. That was after she trashed your book, and many other things. What, sorry? Now, why would I admit to a crime? <laughs> I'm not dumb now, come on, give me a little bit more credit than I'm worth. Mm. Well, I do deeply care about you. Thank you. I put a lot of effort into my artwork. You gotta line everything up correctly. That's how things fall into place. Art isn't supposed to be rushed. Surprisingly, it stresses us out when it's not, but patience is key. Sadly, not many people have that left. Mm-hmm. Of course. Well, art was kind of the only thing I knew when I was on the four walls of hatred. It was evil in ways. It's weird, honestly. I was in a, I was in a room that was all white and I was stuck there, no way to escape. A window that was just blacked out. The thing is, is the window that was blacked out was actually where I was. It's weird. How do I put it? That was my void. I was in a empty, dark, hollow pit of a void and 
I didn't really have anyone. You're the only reason I'm still alive. And I don't want to be here much. Honestly, I didn't think I'd find you either. Detailing now. Of course, detailing is very important. <sighs> How do you feel? Is the sedative still effective or no? That's good to know. Mm. No, I completely understand. That's normal. <laughs> Don't worry, I wouldn't really call this Stockholm Syndrome. Not just yet, anyways. <laughs> You do. You're very funny. I can not lie about that. Outlines are always black. Well, they keep their shape if they're black. And then you color other things around them. Mm hmm Just be a little bit gentle. You don't want to smudge it off the, the paper. Mm, of course. Well, tomorrow we will have a gathering of sorts anyways. Well, it's the new year, so... I do plan on taking you to an event. Mm -hmm. If you mess up, remember that you can always white it out when it dries. Don't worry. Things are never gonna last forever. But as long as I have these moments with you, I'm a bit happier. And I don't feel so dull. I can see color when I'm with you, which is weird. I never thought that was even possible anymore. To be able to see color with someone. <clears throat> I do understand what the other girls see in you, though. Truly. But they don't want you like I do. They don't know how much I need you more than they do and they don't see you how I see you they never will they'll never understand but that's okay it's not like they're here anymore to understand don't worry there was no evidence I already told you that at the beginning. There's never any evidence. I wouldn't allow of it. Mm -hmm. Well, as I did say, it is a bit complicated. Well, you can clean your brushes off in there. In about 10 minutes, I'll have to go. I gotta get a few things ready. Mm-hmm. Well, of course. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to. Good to know.
gently. Just. <laughs> well, you are my sun pie. My eyes, you're the best of the best. There's no better than the other. Don't use your wrist, use your arm. Gently down. The gray is a complicated color. You gotta know how to use it correctly when it comes to the white and the black. I know it's a little bit hard, but it takes a little bit of practice and time. Nothing's easy, you know? You also need to pull down the sides of the walls a little bit. The gray. The curvature is very important in my art pieces. Sorry. Yeah, that's the word we're gonna go with. Who cares? <laughs> As I said, I get a little bit spaced out with this type of thing. understand it more than you could comprehend. need to angle the direction of your brush strokes. That's all you need to remember, don't worry. <laughs> of course. I got a little bit of black in my white need to now get it out as I said when you're painting you can cover things up that's all you need to remember <laughs> of course <laughs> well that's just kind of the way it is so what else is it that you'd like to know happened to my family. I'm sorry, was I not clear? The people abusing me were my family. Well, they're dead now, but they were. When I broke, I broke them. It's the best way to put it. Hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. It's just the way life is, you know. gotta make the paint tacky going up there like that. See? Mm. Well, that works a little bit better. I'm pretty much almost done. So I'm gonna take dips of black and white now. And I'm going to do this. <laughs> it's 
just the color I want in Florida to wear. I want it to be a little bit different from anything else. Is there any other questions you'd like to ask before our time is up? <laughs> what happens if you don't want me back? Well, frankly, I'm obliged to say that isn't an option. But for your sake, I'll give you that option. If you do choose not to love me, and you choose to leave me, then I will have lost. And I will continue killing any other girl that you choose. I told you already, you're mine. Whether you choose to believe it or not is completely up to you. I'm not gonna force you. I don't believe that that's love. I believe that you will choose me because I am your best option. And you will see that you can come to love me even if you don't love me now. <laughs> Sure, I might be a little bit sadistic for who I am and for what I've done and for wanting your blood for my painting, but in life you need things like that for the world to work. See, your blood makes my painting look beautiful, especially when it's on the floor. I don't want to be alone, and I don't want to have to let you see me like this. Sadly, I, I had no other choice. It was me or them, and I needed you in my life. What would you have done? Would you have stood by and let the person you love get? destroyed by another girl who thinks that they love them and I know for a fact what those petty bitches are like. They would have just left you like you were nothing and walked away from you. I, on the other hand, I was going to love you for who you were. I was going to be the one to be there for you. To love you, to cherish you, and to hold you when you were alone. I was going to be the one to tell you finally after so long that it was going to be okay. That I had finally come back. This will be the finishing touches to my painting. to know that you're mine. I am a pretty jealous person, but I suppose in a way that's my human nature, our instinct to be that way. That's just the way I am. I overthink and 
Whenever I saw you from the other girl in my eyes, you were cheating and betraying me. But I can't always think like that. You didn't know. But now you do know. So if you leave me, I will consider this your betrayal. As I said, this is no arbitrary imposition. But in the course of the next few months, that could change to be where you love me and you be with me. There is no yes, ma'am, or having to treat me like I'm some sort of a, you know. I'm not trying to be your leader. I'm not trying to be your commander. I'm trying to be the one you love, the one you cherish, the one that you change your mind to wanting to kill for. Theoretically, not literally, but you get my point. And I'm done. As I said, I was drawing you. Where you're sitting right now, there is a cellar, a trap door, right underneath your seat. <laughs> Every single girl that I've killed is under there. I'll do whatever you want me to do with them. But there is only one of them down there that is alive. Depending on your answer, you will get to choose their fate. But for the meantime, this is where I get off. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, darling. You can continue, and when I get back, I'll order you some food, okay? <laughs> sweet, uh, some sweet dreams, but happy time painting. Mm.